Hi, I thought it'd be interesting to speak to you a little bit about uh, the motivation for this series of what I'm doing. Um, the motivation is simple. Historically, thermodynamics is highly rooted in observation. Uh, there's some very nice books on this. There's one from uh, Enrico Fermi that was very readable, uh, published in 1936, uh, Nobel Prize winner. Uh, John Fenn, published in 1982, another Nobel Prize winner. Both of those books are very accessible. You can pull them off the shelf. Anyone can pull them off the shelf. Start to read, understand thermodynamics, think about it. Thermodynamics, at the end of the day, is connected to our everyday experience. Um, in recent decades, however, my feeling is that in a lot of textbooks, it becomes pretty remote. It starts with a lot of math. Uh, eventually gets the applications, but that's not really what thermodynamics is. It starts with how we see the world and then trying to organize it. And these books by these Nobel Prize winners have that flavor. But I didn't know, and as we, as I speak to you now in uh, spring of 2021, I didn't know or feel that uh, students get exposed to thermodynamics in the same way. And I wanted to uh, recover that, make it accessible to uh, everyone. Moreover, uh, the medium that we speak through is not so much through books. It should be, it could be, but in reality, it's not for many people. In the 1960s, there was a magazine called Popular Mechanics. Uh, it still exists, but in the 1960s, it was very popular. So my parents were uh, kids, uh, 1960s. Um, and uh, uh, Popular Mechanics, if you will, could be called the Facebook of that time. It's a little exaggeration, but it was interlaced with popular uh, culture, um, just like Facebook is today, just like YouTube is today. And so there was a book, it came out, it's called Basic Thermodynamics. It's another very good book. But the chapters originally appeared as articles in the magazine uh, Popular Mechanics, and it was assembled into a book. So in 2021, I wanted to try to offer up a perspective, a way to think about thermodynamics, to largely engage um, uh, 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 folks across a, gro a broad swath of society in a medium that they're familiar with and get them to feel the excitement, get them to feel inside themselves what thermodynamics is like, get them to see the world through thermodynamic glasses um, and really connect to it. Um, uh, thermodynamics at the end of the day is really a, a simple subject because it's based on the way we experience the world. But in recent decades through textbooks, it's become a, a complicated, even a feared subject by some students. So I hope this series of videos makes it very accessible and interesting and folks develop a passion for it, uh, just, as, just as I have done through this video approach to, uh, to learning that in some ways represents the medium, median of 2021 and that it can in some ways contribute um, to the ways that, that books uh, have been accessible and readable and written well. Uh, in in the past. Akabu.